What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a modification that will prevent your engine from looking like this. That is carbon buildup in your intake valves and today we're going to be installing the radium oil catch can kits on the FL5. Now this kit was made for the FK8 and I'm pretty sure it's going to fit so if you thought about installing one in your FL5, we're going to find out. So let's get right into it. The installation process is extremely easy. All you need is for your engine to be cooled and some common hand tools and some thread locker. I'll make sure to put um, the necessary tools in each step. So if you want to follow along, you can. First things first, we're going to take off the engine cover on the car. There will be five 10 mil bolts to take out. One here, one here, one here, one here, and then one all the way in the back right here. To give you a better look, here are the bolts. That's one, two, three, four, and the last one, five right there. And then when they're done, you can just lift your engine cover out of the bay. Next, we're going to be taking off this uh, wiring harness off of the engine. There should just be a few tabs right here and right here. Next, you're going to take off that PCV uh, hose right here, right under the wiring harness. And take it out of the engine. After you've taken the PCV uh, hose out, you're going to follow the line and you're going to take it out down here as well. All right, we finally got the PCV hose out. Uh, the bottom one was really tight for some reason for me, so I just had to uh, wedge something thin and sharp, maybe a, a flathead screwdriver or a knife just to get it just give some leverage to, to pull it straight out. So on to the next. Next up, we're going to take out these two bolts from the firewall and it's going to be a 10 millimeters. Next up, we're going to unclip the fuel line. Uh, here, you're going to use a flathead screwdriver and push the tab back and then the line should pop right out. Now that the fuel line is out, we can take out these two bolts down here. They're also 10 millimeters. Alright, so this is what we're going to be installing the catch can bracket into. That's why we needed to take it out. When we install the catch can onto the brackets, like so, we're going to need to use uh, medium strength Loctite, so the blue, blue kind, uh, for the four screws that go into here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now that the catch can has been installed with thread locker to the brackets, we're going to install the banjo fittings onto the catch can as well. All right, the banjo fittings have been installed. I kind of goofed up. Uh, if you guys want to install this, 
put the banjo fittings on first before the bracket because this one won't rotate. Uh, it's going to hit the bracket. Now this is done. We're going to put it back in with the uh, firewall bracket. All right guys, I finally got the bracket and the fuel line all hooked back up. The only light issue that you can have is the fuel line is kind of touching the uh, catch can. Uh, but there is some wiggle room, so I think we'll be all right. I did drop my 10 mil onto the engine bay in the bottom, so I gotta jack it up now. But uh, that's an issue for another time. The kit came with a single two feet uh, hose that I cut into two equal length pieces. I got these fittings on just by using a heat gun to the hose and then just using my hands to push them fit, make sure they are tight as you can see here to ensure a snug fit. Uh, just got to use some strength, I guess. If you can't do it, give it to someone stronger. That's all I can tell you. All right, here are the hoses installed. The top port goes into the valve cover uh, and the bottom one goes into the bottom port, simple enough. Now you just gotta tighten these with an 11 16 wrench. I'm going to uh, use painter's tape to tape it so it doesn't scratch these fittings. All right, guys, the engine cover is back on, catch can is installed, uh, and that's it for this video. We're going to get uh, go back to that catch can when we do our first oil change, uh, whenever that's due. And if you guys enjoy this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, my new wheels are on the way, so put down in the comment section below uh, what wheels you think they are. And uh, let's see if you're correct in the next video. Until next time, peace.